Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be learning how to breed some trees, and we're also going to make a pick from Tinker's Construct that is unbreakable and use it inside of an auto miner for progressive automation. All right, guys, welcome back. We have a few things we have to get done today, and uh, as you can see, I've been working with some tree breeding. Um, what I would recommend doing is placing down a birch sapling and a oak sapling. I place down four, two of each, and uh, just kind of set them side by side. Like these are the original trees I started with. And uh, just let your bees go to town. Like just forget about them. Um, go and build some of these, make some spectacles with some bronze and some uh, glass. And then you're gonna need a grafter, which is simply made the same way with some bronze and some sticks. And uh, you're gonna use this grafter and you're gonna look for things like this. The discoloration, see without the glasses, you can't really see it. You see spots on it, but you can't see it like you can see it with these on. Um, and then when you hit it with this, you're guaranteed a sapling. Um, as you can see, I've cleared out some of them. Um, and you'll see these butterflies floating around. Now you don't get butterflies until you get some forestry trees. So as you can see, this is a forestry tree. And uh, these, these guys will not spawn, butterflies will not spawn until you get forestry trees. So just keep that in mind if you're wondering, um, how do I get butterflies? Um, but yeah, I got a few butterflies that are fluttering around er every other way, you know, wherever you look. But, uh, like here's one right here. Nice. Cabbage white. Um, and that's another thing of forestry is those, those butterflies, but I don't think they're implemented too well. I don't think there's much that they do, um, but I placed some of the forestry ones hoping to get those bred up. Um, and like the sapling that I have right here is a silver sapling. These are silver birch leaves that have the ability to grow apples on them, I think, or something like that. Um, some of these should have apples, I think. I was working with some apple trees like apple oak leaves, these guys, or apple oaks. As you can see, they just give you oak saplings. This is an apple oak sapling that it gave me. Um, and if we, we can throw these in the portable analyzer, because it used to be called the bealizer. And the reason it's called the portable analyzer now is because you can put bees, trees, butterflies, and all that good stuff in here as well. And as you can tell, it tells me a little bit about it. Um, it tells me the girth, and then if you hold shift on these, it tells you a little bit more. Um, you can see the average, the size average, um, the maturity is fast, the uh, H for height is small, the G is for girth, which is one by one, and uh, the yield is the lowest, and then as you can see, the sappiness right here is lowest, so... Probably not one of the best trees to have, but uh, I just want to get these crossbreeding as much as possible. Um, I'm not sure if the bees are even reaching over here. Oh, looks like this leaf is mutated. So we can probably nab this and see what it is. So it's just a silver birch sapling. Possibly with the ability to grow, nope. Say it was, I thought it might have been a hybrid, but it's not. Yeah, I'm kind of working on bee, or working on trees, um, trying to get those things growing. I might just chop all these trees down, and then gather all the saplings I have, and just place the saplings down for the trees that I want. I want to get to the cherry, I think. Or at least that's what the pack recommended, is getting, getting to a tree that produces cherries. So we can get some seed oil. Um, that's mainly the only thing that this is going to be for. Um, bee breeding. I am starting to breed them now. I was getting, like this one was, this one's a cultivated. I finally got a cultivated and we're getting common drones. Um, I want common drones, so I'm working towards getting some common drones. I need a common drone that is like purebred, would be nice. Oh, I need some, uh, some of this, which I do have a bunch of now all right let's place you back in there all right it tells us this is a common slash diligent hybrid not what i want 
This is a common cultivated hybrid. So honestly, I could probably breed this common and cultivated together. And hopefully we get one or the other. That would be nice. A purebred version. I think this is a common forest. We could possibly get a forest. Um, and then whatever comes out of this, whatever it mixes with. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to let this go. It's probably not the most efficient way, but, you know, right now, um, bees are not so important. Um, it does help to get started with them, but they're not that, that important. But yeah, we do have this stuff just set up here. It's not, uh, this is basically only going to be used for these. I had to make new ones. I, I showed you in the last episode that I set up this guy to power them, even though I think that's kind of over overkill. Probably only needed one water wheel. Um, but this is going to generate quite a bit. Plus we have the backup supply. So we need it. We have it. But let's go back. Um, I want to start working towards the uh, inventory panel. And oh, I actually need to take this stuff back. This needs to stay over here. I want my bee breeding stuff to stay there. Okay. What is that? Common diligent. Okay. So now I think we can head back. And other than that, we should be good. Right? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, let's head back and check out a few things. Like we need an inventory panel. That'd be nice. Oop. All right. Oop. Misspelled it again. There we go. Um, and for the inventory panel, we're going to need nutrient distillation. Um, and to get that, we need a vat. It's going to require a machine, ca uh, yeah, machine chassis. Um, and it looks like some fluid tanks and some electric steel. And this is made with the silicon, which I was corrected. I guess I was calling it silicon. I've heard it pronounced different ways. So silicon. Um, is going to be what we need to make and to get that we need silicon di dioxide um, And that is produced from clay dust in our thermal centrifuge Let's go back. Oops I'm Always getting that up getting that wrong. Okay, um Electrical steel, <laughs> it's like a long process to get electrical steel uh, Okay so this is in our centrifuge, which is actually not here. We'll have to go back in our B area to use this guy. Um, I should probably move it, move it over here. I don't know. I don't know if right now. All we need it for is for drops over there at the moment. The clay dust, we could get that going. Clay dust is going to come from clay balls. Okay. I thought I remember seeing... Okay, there's the industrial craft. That gives us two per clay block, but it takes four to make that. Okay. Um, I think I would actually... do it the other way. Um, just clay balls, because that's probably going to be more efficient. I think we get one to one. Whereas this would take us... It force us to make four. I think. Hopefully I'm doing it right wrong. You guys oh it won't let me do it. We have to do the blocks. Okay. Fun. Okay, let's uh let's just make sure real quick. Or I mess stuff up. Alright. So we can't do the tech reborn version. That has to be done in a grinder. And you can't make a grinder. Okay. That's just the uh the recipe. Okay. All right, we'll make it the other way. We'll make it the way it wants us to make it. And that is binding this. I'm gonna have to make a bunch because I know we're gonna need a bunch. And it's gonna go in a thermal centrifuge. Let's kind of clear this out. Um, I should just have this. They said if you put a lever on here, it'll stay heated, but does it consume power? Oh wait, we have to not grind it. Let's go back to the vat again. I'm already losing track. Okay. That's in a centrifuge. 
We need the clay dust from industrial craft off macerator. Or macerator. Throw that in there. Okay. Now that works. That gives us two. Okay. And then this will give us four. We get the same bang for a buck. Uh, it shows four clay dust equals one silicon dioxide. And this will give us four. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's get our clay dust out of here. And we'll throw that in there. It's going to warm up. Looks like it doesn't take too long. I think we can put this in here make it even faster. I don't know if that made it faster or not. But hopefully it makes this process faster. Oh, I don't think we have enough power for that. Not enough power, I don't think, but we're pulling the max out. Man, is this causing some laggy. Man, making it lag. That's okay, though. Can it handle one? It can handle one. Can it handle two? Looks like it sets perfect with two at the moment. So that makes it two times faster. So let's go ahead and cook this up. I think it just gets cooked up. Oh no, it goes in our centrifuge. That's correct. Okay. I did have my centrifuge here, but it's gone. Okay, let's um let's grab a couple more. I just want to get these in here so we can test them out. And I, I really want to get that stuff cooking as fast as possible. And uh, put it in here. Hopefully it don't take very long. Awesome. It's so probably going to pull it out, put it in here, and then do it again. That's so weird. I wonder, I wonder how an actual centrifuge works. I don't know. I'm going to have to make another centrifuge and put it, put it in back in our area. That's a pretty looking butterfly. Come back. I think you can put butterflies in jars as well. Let's see. There's the different butterflies. Yeah, I don't I don't really see much. I think you can capture them though. All right, that's 16 silicon. I'm going to I'm going to like mass produce some of these. Uh, that way we have a storage of silicon or silicon. Um, because we're going to need it. Okay. And then I'll take it, put it in my alloy smeltery. That with some coal dust and I think iron. Right? Alright, iron. We are about out of you. We'll probably have to go mining. Or we could start where this is producing. Because uh, we need this up and running. We do need to figure out a way to mine. So, uh, or automate mining. So I don't have to mine anymore. Um, and there are a few ways. Uh, at the current stage we're at. There is progressive automation, um, which is a pretty decent way of doing it. Um, there are these miners right here, and you just fill them with coal. Um, and I'm pretty sure their upgrades are not too expensive. We have the wooden upgrades, and then they just keep keep growing. And like even the diamond upgrade's not that bad. Like a single diamond upgrade. We could probably do We have to do at least iron, I think. Cause I need to mine iron. So getting to iron would not be actually we could probably do it with stone, but I want iron because we can mine most things. Um including diamond with iron. So let's go ahead and make one of these guys. It doesn't seem like too much, just a chest, a furnace. Just some stuff that we've used before. Um, I think just the regular... Okay, a furnace, a chest, and some logs. 
Right? Furnace chest, logs, pickaxe, wooden pickaxe. Some pretty easy stuff to craft up. Right, there we go. And, uh, let's make the logs like this. Or the chest like that. And then, of course, we need our furnace. Furnace in the middle, chest up top, pick in the bottom. And our logs across it like that. Perfect. Now we have a wooden miner. And we need to upgrade that to the stone. So we're going to need some cobblestone. We're going to need a pick. Lovely cobblestone pick. Um, and I guess it was just surrounded by cobblestone. With the one pick. Right? Or was that smooth stone? Polished. Oh, smooth stone. My bad. That is seven smooth stone. And I bet the iron one, I need to actually get some iron out of here because we can't use all of it. Okay, looks like we don't even have enough for that. All right, so iron. I'm assuming it's an iron pick. Let me just check. Ooh, it's a block of iron. Okay. This is electrical steel I'm using anyways. Block of iron. We need an iron pick, I'm pretty sure. And our stone miner. But, you know, we can make a iron... Or we can make another pick. That uh, we might be able to make unbreakable. So we can try and make it unbreakable. Um... Will take a lot of a lot of obsidian, but at the moment we can just use an iron pick, and that should work fine for us. Okay, it's minor. All right, everything else we should have. There we go. We got an iron miner. Sweet. Um, let's go over here and grab some charcoal. We already have some blocks, so let's take those, and we'll make some more blocks of charcoal. There we go. 28 blocks. That should work for now. And I think I want to go in the mining world. We also need some kind of chest. Oh, we got two chests here. That'll be fine. Oh, and uh, we need that wrench. Okay, PA wrench, which we have. For a progressive automation. Oops, it did not work. There we go. Okay, let's put this over here in the mining world. Um, we're gonna set that down here. We're gonna need a pick um, for this and a shovel. Probably gonna be iron that we're gonna need it to be. Um, where is my crafting table on a stick? There it is. Okay. So an iron pick and an iron shovel. Probably going to need some more wood. There we go. Alright, so we have our iron pick. Iron shovel. That's ready to go. And then slot for upgrades. At the moment, it's probably just going to mine straight down. Um, that's not what we want it to do. Um, ready. We also need cobblestone. Okay, so it's mining 74 blocks. Is there an upgrade that will produce cobblestone for us? Um, there's the RF. Cobble gin upgrade. That's what we need. Okay. So, it is working. Um, let's go get some of the other stuff that we're going to need for this guy. Also, let's, uh, before we do any of that, let's, let's set our chest with that PA wrench. So we can have stuff go into the chest. Let's set this to... Output. Output on top. We'll set a chest there. And now this guy is going to output everything to the chest. Sweet. Okay, that is actually pretty convenient. 
So we are automating mining so I don't have to mine, which will be awesome. We just uh, need to spend some money on, uh, or spend some resources anyways, on uh, our upgrades for that guy. Um, the upgrades. So we're going to need bucket of lava. All right, we're going to need a bucket of lava, bucket of water, and another stone miner. Um, so just basically some wood yet again. So I'll be right back when I get all that stuff ready to go. All right, so I did go mining just a little bit, just enough to get a little bit of iron um, that I found in the mining world. Um, just enough. There's 33. It's not going to do too much for us, but um, we are going to be able to get a few things done here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have some of the Restonia crystals. So we're going to need that. We're also going to need some logs. I'm getting kind of low on logs. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch more. I might just have to start this guy back up. Um, okay, it looks like I don't have that many, but I do have the rubber wood logs, but that's not of any use to us. I'm probably going to have to start my farm back up. Uh, I wonder how many logs I have in here. None. It's all been converted to charcoal. Okay, well this is fine. This is fine for now. Alright, so this will get us... Looks like... Well, if this will stop. There we go. Let's try this again. 64. That'll give us... 8 upgrades. Okay, and let's see, do we have enough to completely upgrade it even further? So we should. This should give us eight stone upgrades, and then we'll need... Hopefully we can get eight... No, we can only do five. Five iron upgrades at the moment. Let's see, do we have some more iron? I did have some more processing. Ooh, nice. We do have some more iron. Okay, we should have enough to complete this upgrade. There we go. And possibly make more. But for right now, uh, we're going to stick with eight. Oh, and I almost forgot. We also need to make the cobblestone upgrade. So we just need six stone. There we go. And now we have our upgrades for our miner. Now, m you can just move this thing whenever it's done. Um, so move it to a different location. Um, but here you don't have to pump it full of cobblestone. Um, so let's throw this in there. So now we have a cobblestone generator. Okay, that's nice. And then eight upgrades. Aha! Uh -huh. I think the wrench actually shows us where it's currently mining. Or its distance it's mining. So it's going to mine this area right here. Okay. I wonder, can this thing be moved with a piston? Can this block be pushed? And maintain its... Its stuff. I don't know. Well, how's our pick doing? Okay, our pick's not doing so hot. That is a thing. Um, let's make sure we chunk load this. Well, that's fine. So that's chunk loaded. Um, so we don't have to worry about it. We can head out. And let's work towards um, getting a pick that we can possibly get unbreaking for. Um, that would be a pick that uh, has upgrades. So, it's with Tinkers. There are these guys, not these. What am I looking for? Okay, so Obsidian will get us the Reinforcement Modifier. I don't remember how many we need for that. But we can take, um, let's see, paper. We're going to need a bunch of paper. So we'll take all of this we can. All right. And we'll craft with this bad boy, get ourselves some paper. And I think I'm going to use... I, I need to use a binding. Let's see. Binding pattern. Tool pattern. And a pickaxe head. All of that. 
Let's see, I should be able to make a paper tool rod. Paper binding. And a paper pick head. And then our table is over here. I should probably move that back out there. And make a pick. Paper pick has five modifiers. Um, now we need to get some obsidian because we don't have enough. So I'm going to be back. I'm going to go back to the nether, swap out this with the other tank, and we should be good to go. So I have everything put in here, and I have 48, uh, buck, or 48 blocks worth of obsidian ready to go. I just need to pipe them out. So we'll take this. There seems like there's something in here. Oh, there's obsidian in there. But I think I have an even amount. I don't know why there's some obsidian in here. Let's just break that. It went straight into here. Uh, there's the bronze gear. Apparently, um, you can't make this bronze gear um, unless you're on a server. I think that's what Cuva said. Um, which is the uh, pack developer. Um, so I guess that's something you could do on a server. I noticed you could not make this thing um, elsewhere. Like, I don't think you can make that cast unless you're on a server, so I accidentally did something that I guess I didn't know I couldn't do. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I guess ignore what I made there. Um, you're only supposed to be able to use the uh, other thing. You're not supposed to be able to make this gear cast, I guess. I don't know. It looks like it's used for aluminum. You can make it here and vice versa, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess it's a bug, is what he said. Or an exploit. Um, but at least I was able to do it there, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna pump this out. Um, a lot of people said it was pretty slow. Um, it doesn't seem too slow to me. Um, we're also gonna need some of these casts as well. Um, my only problem is... While this is running, you can accidentally pull out... Um, some of this stuff, like bronze, and I have two ingots of multi or I have two ingots of aluminum right there. I think I'm going to get rid of my pickaxe head. I'm going to need a sharpening kit, um, iron sharpening kit. I think this requires two, so I'm going to need at least two things of iron in here. Just for the iron sharpening kit, so I can make that iron. Um, this we're, we're basically just going to be making a unbreakable pick um, with all this obsidian and with these casts. Um, I'm man, I really don't. I guess you know I can always make new ones, but I am going to just break these casts. Uh, we probably won't ever need a hammerhead again. We will need the large plate, so we can't get rid of that or the ingot cast. I probably won't ever make another excavator. So I can get rid of that, that one, that one, the uh, binding cast, because I don't really need all that, and also get rid of the, probably the broad axe head, don't need that. I'm not sure if it's four or five on the modifiers, and hopefully it even works, because if that pick does not work in here, I'll be kind of disappointed, because... From what I've seen, it does work. Alright, so we'll need that in there for our sharpening kit. That is the sharpening kit, correct? Yes. Okay. You know what, let's go ahead and break that. I just want to get that sharpening kit out real quick. And then I can go ahead and get everything else up and running. I don't know if the sharpening kit will use a modifier in this case. Right? I don't know. Um, but we're going to have to get our obsidian out. There's our obsidian. All right, let's pop this back on. There we go. And, uh, let's, let's go ahead and move this guy outside. Out with everything else. I don't know why it's not out here. Um, and let's go ahead and make some of this reinforced stuff. Okay. So you need obsidian around this guy. That'll give us one reinforce. Another. And that's three. And if we put this on 
this guy. We get unbreakable. Or writable. Well, no, we have writable two and then reinforced two. Reinforced three. Durability eight. That's funny. All right, how much? How much left? We have more. All right, let's fill that again. It'll give us another reinforcement. Reinforce five. I think one more will give us unbreaking. Um, it'll be unbreakable. We have a few more blocks left. We're almost there, and I think we have enough. Awesome, I want to break this thing before things start getting out of control. Okay. I need one more of these. I guess the gear we can go ahead and get rid of, even though I made it. I don't exactly know what I'm going to use it for, other than... Um, Oh, I guess it doesn't even work. I guess you weren't even supposed to be able to make the gear cast. I have no idea. Um, the gear cast doesn't even work for anything else. Uh, the pickaxe set, I guess. I guess that's fine. Awesome. Alright, let's see. Is this going to make it unbreakable? Unbreakable. Awesome. Can we add the iron sharpening kit? No! What? Okay, so... The mining level is stone? We can't add the sharpening kit. Um, is there any other thing like block of diamond that gives it extra modifiers? I don't know. Right now, this is only stone. So I just did all that work, and it only gives us stone? Huh. So it's unbreakable. Stone mining level. Or mining. I can't use it in the, or I can use it in the iron, but we can't use that upgrade. Okay. Combined with a flint, oh, we have to combine it with a flint. I, I am derping. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it works, oh man. Please work, please work, please work. Yes, awesome. Now we have an unbreakable pick for our miner. Oh man, this should work. It should have mining level diamond. Oh, actually, may not work. This may have to be upgraded to a diamond. Oh no, it does work. Yes, it does. Because it's, it's actually iron. Okay, so that's right. A paper pick is now working. Its mining speed is really slow though. I don't know if that matters in this machine. But, it is an unbreakable pick, so we don't have to have this guy hooked up next to it anymore. Sweet. And I guess you could use fortune and stuff on it, I don't know if that would actually matter. But it's fortified for iron. Uh, it's gonna be charcoal in itself up. Um, we're getting a few things, it's just gonna let itself roll, so... Um, this is a miner, you can of course expand this out. With some more upgrades, as long as you have the iron to afford it. Ooh, we got a pretty butterfly right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the butterflies. This is making this area look really nice. I'm tempted to move this to my base. Um, just because of how nice these things look, having butterflies flying around. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, let's check, since we've been gone, we got a common drone, common. Now this is a forest queen. It has mutated. This is a forest. This is still meadows. But we have some commons. All of these guys. And I gotta work on the commons. The more common drones I have, the better chance I have of turning one of these into a common queen, I think. I think a common queen's a thing. Yes. A common princess is what I was looking for. Yeah, you do a forest princess and a meadow could give you a common queen. Thus, netting you a chance, you have a 50% chance of doing doing all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm working with bees. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, it's kind of new to me, so 
Um, I've actually never done bees before. Um, well, I take that back. I have done bees, just not vanilla bees. I've done them with Gindustry. Um, and it was kind of in a pack called Bee Happy. And uh, where it worked around bees, but it gave you everything needed for bees. So um, just keep this all in mind that you need forester trees to get butterflies. Um, you don't really need butterflies for anything. But uh, as you can see, I never, I didn't plant all these flowers. The bees did that. The bees are causing all these flowers to grow. So you need dye. Uh, bees are the ways to, way to go, man. There's tons of dye right here. All these different colors. Oh, does this one give you purple dye? Or magenta dye? Nice. So yeah, we have dyes for days here. Um, even though we have the atomic reconstructor, which gives you all the dyes anyways, but yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, learn a little bit about the uh, miner, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and as always, you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Oh